Hey everyone, welcome back to another versus matchup video. Today we have Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins versus Yami from Black Clover. If you enjoyed this video, dislike and subscribe. This video was suggested by these two people, so you know, shout out to them. And before I get into this, I'm just gonna give a quick bit of news about my channel, or at least coming news for the next two weeks. Uh, I have exams and uh, uh, scheduled for next week, so. Of course, I'm studying for that too, but I equally also want to get YouTube videos out too because, you know, one, I enjoy making them, and two, I have a somewhat consistent upload schedule I want to stick to. So I'm kind of speed running um, making YouTube videos, and that's not to say that I am semi not really giving them um, as much effort and kind of rushing them, but I'm not really giving them semi that much effort and kind of rushing them. Um, but like when it comes to this matchup, I before this had never watched Seven Deadly Sins or Black Clover, so uh, I have probably missed out a lot. I have probably I probably have. Um, I got two of my friends that watch both series to help clarify things for me and add things to. But uh, I re I really don't think that this is a perfect video. If you're looking for a reasonable conclusion, I'm just going to provide what I think and provide feats, and then you can draw your own conclusions if that makes any sense. And also another thing to bring up, my maths teacher is gaining in subscribers and she, she, I don't want her overtaking me again. That was a dark time in my life. And um, yeah, let's just get right into this video. For strength and attack potency, El, uh, Escanor has went toe to toe with Zel Zeldris. I, I do also don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and essentially they both um, must be more powerful than male, male, male person thing. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, who disperse clouds over a country which would take the equivalent of around 21 teratons of TNT, which is enough to destroy a large country. You could see he's approximately six times more powerful than that, and it would also put him at 129 approximately. However, you know, that could be a high ball, could be a low ball, depending on how you look at things, but all you know is that, you know, all you need to know is that he is more powerful than Mile. Ma I, I am not going to keep on trying to pronounce that. Yami, meanwhile, was able to blow a hole through 80% Dante, who was more powerful than Berserk Asta, who should be more powerful than Fana, who was capable of evaporating the sea, which would take around 2 teratons of TNT, which would also put that at around, put her around, around large country level. Um, we also know that he is stronger than that. Um, we could You could say that he is 10 times more powerful than Fana, However, even then, that still wouldn't even be enough to be Escanor when he's lowballed. So, Escanor, from what I've seen so far, has the better attack potency and strength. For speed, Escanor was able to keep up with Zeldris, obviously, who was faster than post, or comparable to at least, post purgatory base Mel uh, Melodus, who was able to reflect, reflect lightning which travels at 270,000 miles per hour. Yami, meanwhile, must be comparable to Nozel Silva, who is able to react to and avoid Patri's uh, light attacks and light magic, which should, all, which should travel at light speed, which would mean that Yami is much faster than Escanor. Uh, you also have to take into account as well that, you know, he is moving faster than the speed of light to dodge it, so yeah, he, he, is, he is much faster than Escanor. For durability here, and the uh, it's quite simple because it should they both should scale to their own attack potency, considering they were both able able to take attacks from people who they could harm. So yeah, uh, Escanor is more durable than Yami. For abilities, weapon range, technique, um, Escanor has his signature divine axe, which obviously you know hurts. It's it's a weapon. It's it's an axe. Um, he also has a plethora of fire based attacks too which can use from range. Not only that but he has regeneration and he can bypass regeneration and completely ignore it. Not only that but he's also resistant to mind manipulation too. Yami meanwhile has his iconic um, katana and is also a master swordsman. He can sense where people are too and he also has dark magic that he can use from far range as well which obviously gives him range of base attacks as well and are often slices like with his sword um, not only that but he can create shields and it, it creates something similar to a black hole which paralyzes momentarily the enemy in place 
So as to who's more versatile, uh, Escanor's definitely got more versatile like types of fire attacks, if that makes any sense. Like types of attacks Escanor's more versatile, but in terms of who, you know, is actually more versatile in terms of who has more abilities, that point goes to Yami. So I probably have to give the like, who has the better abilities point to Escanor, probably, considering how powerful you know he is and how much powerful his abilities make him. However, who is more versatile? I think that it's hands down Yami. For weaknesses, Escanor, um, his power depends on the time. Like, like <laughs> funnily enough, like when the sun's up, that's when his powers are. And we've been talking about him at his strongest, and that is at high noon. So when it passes that, and when it passes into nighttime, he becomes a lot weaker. So, and also as well to add on to that as well, his pride is kind of an issue, but. It's, to my knowledge, it's never been too much of a problem, although it is still a weakness in general. Yami meanwhile sort of believes in the stereotypical hero trope, um, especially when he's fighting someone that's not human. And while yes, his katana is quite durable, it is far from, you know, <laughs> it, can, it can be broken. Uh, so for us, the worst weakness, I would have to say it's Escanor without a doubt. Now for the victor, this is quite a close fight. From what we've drawn, Escanor is more powerful, more durable, has the better abilities, and meanwhile Yami is faster, more versatile, and has the less vulnerable weakness. So, who wins the fight? Uh, it, is, it is quite close, and again, much like many of these versus videos, you could make a case for either of them winning. Um, with uh, Yami though, um, the main tactic of, you know, being that much faster, you know, and the opponent being more powerful, you probably try and whittle him down bit by bit. However, you can't really do that with Escanor considering his regeneration as a factor. And well, yes, he has fought people with regeneration before. Escanor is more um, is quite is quite powerful and is more powerful than Yami. Um, so well, yes, it isn't too out of the question. The fact he could probably put him down, especially with the I don't know the proper name for it, but the black hole technique that paralyzes him in place. That, that could be the deciding factor within the fight. However, Escanor, he is he is just much more powerful, well, not much more powerful, but he, he is just more powerful in general. Um, and animal durable too, so he can take the hits and regenerate from them. So it would really be a matter of time uh, of Escanor getting a fatal hit on Yami. Although, well, yes, he is more powerful than Yami's durability. You could make the argument that Yami be able to take hits from him, and if Yami is also um, capable of prolonging the fight out for longer than an hour, then he then Escanor will slowly start to get weaker. Um, it's uh, um, he will still be able to fight, obviously, but he will obviously be weaker, as I said. So it's really hard to come to a conclusion because you got Yami who can't really put. Um, Escanor down unless he can stall them for a long period of time, or Escanor who can take Yami down, however is much slower. Um, the speed, like, he would have to run uh, Yami's stamina down, which isn't too far-fetched considering how much, you know, he would have to keep on moving to, you know, keep on dodging Escanor's attacks. However, that being said, um, Yami's stamina is quite high. So as I said at the start of the video, I wasn't too confident in giving a um, direct answer to who ends the fight, but from what I've seen, I would I would put my bet I would put my money on Escanor winning more often than not. Um, if you enjoyed this video, dislike and subscribe. Tell me in the comments why I'm wrong and why I probably shouldn't have done this video. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.